What is going on everyone? It is Mladen here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can build the ultimate morning routine using environmental design. What is a morning routine? It's basically a set of habits or motions that you go through once waking up. This generally goes for anywhere between 30 to 60 minutes and this allows you to win your morning. In order to win the day, you first need to win the morning. It also helps you set up your day in the right way and it can have some drastic effects on your focus and productivity. What is environmental design? Well, I'm glad you asked, even though you probably didn't ask. The easiest way I can put environmental design in a couple of words is basically setting up your environment and priming it for success. So that could look like, for example, you'll see a video here of me chilling on my yoga mat and I'm doing a variation of things such as meditating, breath work, maybe even the Wim Hof method. I'm doing a little bit of reading and I'm also scheduling and planning my day. And the reason I am able to do this consistently and repetitively is because I have incorporated environmental design in my day-to-day -day actions. So by simply placing the yoga mat on the floor in my office space, I know that the first thing that I need to do in the morning is the things that I have mentioned, which is the breath work, the meditation, the visualizing, the affirmations, and some reading. I do all five of those things on the yoga mat, and I know that allows me to activate the best version of myself first thing in the morning. When we can look at firstly identifying what we want to include in our morning routine, we need to ask ourselves, what things can we do to make it a lot more easier for us? So when I lay out my yoga mat, I know that that is the easiest thing that I can do. However, if I left my yoga mat in the car, then I have created friction in a good habit. So the idea is we want to remove as much friction as possible from the great habits and add as much friction as possible for the bad habits. Something that's just come across my mind now is that when I used to be a smoker, when I was in the process of quitting smoking, I would either A, leave my smokes at home, or B, leave my smokes in the car. Because I know either of those two things created a lot of friction. And we can use something that is called a commitment device, where we lock in a future habit in the present moment. And that's what essentially it is. But not to go too far off topic, I would want for us to focus on developing the ultimate morning routine. So these are some of the things that I love to do on a regular basis as part of my morning routine. I will drink some water once I first wake up, then I'll go brush my teeth, then I'll go take a cold shower, then I'll come into the office and sit on my yoga mat, which there I meditate for about 10 minutes. Some days I like to change it up and do variations of breath work, box breathing, or even the Wim Hof method. And then after that, I will set up a timer for three minutes with a beep at each minute, and I will focus on each minute from a different area of life that I want to visualize. And the visualization could be something as an end goal, uh, as in the telos, the end in mind, or it could be something immediate that I'm doing on that day. I tend to find when I do visualization, I can sort of prime everything in my mind's eye before I actually do it. And by seeing the thing in my mind first, I can almost say with certainty that I'm able to achieve the thing that I'm working on. Then I like to say about 10 affirmations within the next 60 seconds. These affirmations is something that I have been able to collect and create on my personal development journey over the past seven years. And here's three that I can share with you now. Maybe you can incorporate it into your life. I am a genius and I apply my own wisdom. I am always at the right place at the right time to meet the right people to make the right deal. It seems like no matter what I do, I prosper. I'm a multi-millionaire dollar money magnet. Whatever I touch turns to gold. With affirmations, you can use them or you can find your own or you can create your own. Find something that aligns with you, your behaviors, and what it is that you genuinely love and are working towards to. Affirmations and visualization, when, when they are not aligned with what it is that you are doing, then that is sort of a bit of a fantasy. But there is no right and wrong in doing either of those activities. Maybe it's a starting point for you to modify where your route is going to. I then like to spend about 15 or so minutes reading from two different books. It might be anywhere between five to seven pages from each book. And then after each book, I'll place the book down 
and then I will ask myself, what did I just learn? Because when you actively recall information from something that you've just absorbed, the retention and probability of you absorbing that information is a lot more higher when you actively recall or test yourself in that moment. And then I will move to my laptop, which after all that time on the yoga mat, now I'm done. Now I can put the yoga mat away. And that for me is environmental design. That one thing that I have used has served five to six things that I've done as part of my morning routine. And I've made it as easy as possible for me to do it without any friction whatsoever. And this is why I'm able to show up every day and be consistent with it. So now we move on to the laptop. And what I like to do here is I'm a big believer in self-education, personal development, and scheduling in some sort of upskilling or cross-skilling. And something that has been a phenomenal tool for myself has been the website Skillshare. Now Skillshare is obviously not sponsoring this video. However, if you just do jump onto Skillshare.com, you'll be able to find either a seven day or 14 day free trial. And if you want to learn anything, that is the website to go on to and I can say with confidence I've been able to learn a lot about website building marketing camera quality how to film videos how to edit videos there are topics that I also study on there or subjects I should say such as stoicism emotional intelligence psychology human behavior and so many more subjects to be covered on there feel free to check it out now after I'm done with sort of the education part of everything then what I like to do is, is go for a walk and when I go for a walk I will split my walk into two parts the first part goes for about 20 minutes throughout this period I will listen to some lo-fi chill hop music and I will actively test myself with questions that I've created the day before regarding some of the subjects and topics that I like to learn and the purpose for me of doing this is firstly I get my cardio in but secondly it's not boring and thirdly I get to learn while I'm doing cardio and then just to make sure that I'm not spending the whole time learning, as I am human, I do need to have some sort of balance. Splitting up the second half of the walk, then I'll listen to like music. Uh, again, maybe I'll continue to listen to the chill hop. Sometimes I listen to Lane 8, uh, Rufus, Ben Boma, people of this nature. And depending on the weather, you know, it's going to be a vibe either way. Now, once I do get back, I may make myself a cup of coffee, may do a shot of apple cider vinegar with a pinch of Himalayan salt and top it up with water. Um, and I'll also maybe have some yogurt with granola and I'll make sure to add blueberries and a kiwi as well with it and that is essentially the morning routine that i have created now keep in mind it is quite an extensive list and it is subject to vary on on a weekly basis i this is actually my shortest version of my morning routine my longest version of the morning routine is quite in-depth and comprehensive but i don't say that to sort of flex the morning routine i believe a morning routine is very effective if it's around 30 minutes now in order for those habits to stick we need to be tracking them and the best way that I have found over the last seven years to be tracking habits is to have your own habit tracker now thankfully there is a video right there that you can click on or a video down there below and you can follow along and build your own free customizable habit tracker and once you have started to include this into your day-to-day -day routine you're going to start to see things change you're going to have a lot more of a productive and focused day and ultimately that's what we want. We want to set ourselves up first thing in the morning so we can tackle any challenge ahead of us. And thank you guys kindly for watching today's video. If you have enjoyed the video, please kindly go down below and consider subscribing. Also leaving it a thumbs up. And yeah, until next time guys, love, peace and bless.